concept of armature reaction. To understand the concept of the armature reaction, let us consider a two-pole, north pole and south pole, DC generator as shown. The magnetic flux always moves from north, N pole, to south, S pole, outside the magnet and from the south pole to the north pole inside the magnet. For simplicity, we assume that brushes are touching the armature conductors directly. Here, the cross sign, the direction of current in the conductor going into the plane, that is, in this case, into the screen, dot sign indicates the direction of current in the conductor going out of the plane, that is, in this case, towards the viewer. GNA, geometric neutral axis, is an axis which is always perpendicular to the polar axis or D-axis. GNA position does not change with the load, that is, it is irrespective of the load changes. GNA is the axis that bisects the angle between the center lines of adjacent poles. It is the axis of the symmetry between the two adjacent poles. MNA, magnetic neutral axis, is the axis which is always perpendicular to the air gap flux or the resultant flux. Under no load condition, MNA coincides with the GNA. MNA is the axis drawn perpendicular to the mean direction of the flux passing through the center of the armature. No EMF is produced in the armature conductors along this axis because there is no flux. D-axis or direct axis is always in phase with the polar axis, whereas Q-axis or quadrature axis is perpendicular to the D-axis. This type of specifications help in the modeling of DC machines. Example, MATLAB or simple link modeling, etc. Under no load condition, the GNA and MNA are in perpendicular to the polar axis. Assume generator rotation in the clockwise as shown in the above figure. Whenever DC machine rotates, the first touching point on the pole is called leading pole tip and the leaving pole tip is called trailing pole tip. Armature flux aids the main field flux at trailing pole tips but opposes at leading pole tip. Therefore, strengthening effects take place at trailing pole tip, weakening effect at leading pole tip. 